Hi, my name is Wan. Welcome to Game News. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about the possibility of Silk Song appear in Nintendo Indie Showcase, Valve's new VR headset, and new games on the Xbox Game Pass. This and way more in this video. So, guys, if you like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it helps a ton. So, without further ado, let's go straight to the news. So first, let's go over the fast news. We have Shinji Mikami. Yeah, Shinji Mikami talked about Resident Evil 4 Remake. On his Twitter page, he posted this image saying this. Resident Evil 4 cleared successfully. I enjoy it very much. So guys, for those who don't know, Shinji Mikami is the creator of the Resident Evil franchise. So his opinion means a lot. Disney Speedrun. Yes, guys. Disney Speedrun did drop yesterday, but I was initially excited about it but then who this game is not looking good so the game itself is actually looking good graphically i mean the game is good the game is really really good the characters you have all the disney characters the gameplay is feeling super super nice a lot of roads everything on the game is good the problem is how disney is marketing this game the game is a full price game first let's talk about this the game comes in three bundles uh initial bundle or essential bundle. i don't know how how they are calling it you have three bundles a 30 bucks bundle a 50 bucks bundle and a 70 bucks bundle so the game is not free to play but you have in-game currency and a battle pass you gotta be kidding me another company trying to make another game as a service don't get me wrong if this game was free this game would be amazing a lot of people would be playing this game and a lot of people would be spending money on the cosmetics so uh, this is oh my god this is really this is, was a really dumb idea by disney making this game pay to play this is stupid don't get me wrong this is stupid this game should be free because the monetization in the game is already super heavy it's compared to mobile monetization so oh my god the problem is that i love disney character but this game is not gonna be alive for for long look at this this is the the peak players on the steam chart now talking about the mage seeker so guys the mage seeker did drop yesterday and these are the reviews the specs of the asus rogue ally have leaked so guys so guys for those who don't know asus rogue ally is a handheld from asus that is trying to compete with the steam deck so here are the here are the specs Silk Song could be on the upcoming Nintendo Indie Showcase. So guys, for those who don't know, Silk Song is a sequel to the critical acclaim game Hollow Knight developed by Team Cherry. The game has been in development for quite some time now and has been highly anticipated by fans of the original. However, news on the game has been scarce with no official release date announced. So a lot of people are hoping that the upcoming Nintendo Indie World Showcase event could be the perfect opportunity for Silk Song to finally make an appearance. So guys, the event is scheduled for today Day, Wednesday, April 19 at 9 a.m. PT. So the event promises to feature about 20 minutes of reveals, announcements, and updates on indie games that are on the way for Nintendo Switch. While Nintendo has not confirmed any specific game for the event, a lot of people are speculating that Silk Song could be one of them. I mean, the timing seems right, especially since the game was recently confirmed as a day one Xbox Game Pass game with a release date set for June 12, 2023. So assuming there are no delays, this means Mean that the game's release date should be on the next two months and what better way to announce the release date than at the nintendo indie world showcase event i mean it's the perfect opportunity it's the perfect opportunity but guys it's important to note that many indie game world event have come and gone with no sign of silk song and we have been left disappointed and frustrated with the lack of news on the game so let's have a more light-hearted approach to the to the upcoming event so if silk song doesn't show up please don't go on twitter and trash talk the developers please don't do that that's ugly don't do it it's not necessary if the game doesn't show up it means that it's still working on it of course that i would love for the game for us to get a new trailer new gameplay a more in-depth look i would love that but if that doesn't happen don't be mad just wait let them cook let the developers cook Valve's new VR headset. So guys, this news comes from a recent interview with Valve product designer Greg Coomer, who have stated that Valve is continuing its efforts in VR despite focusing on the Steam Deck in the recent years. For those who don't remember, Valve entered the VR marketplace in 2019 with the release of Valve Index, which actually faced competition from other headsets like Oculus and HTC Vive. So while Valve has not provided any specific about its new VR headset, for me it's clear that the company sees VR as an avenue worth 
after suing and Valve's recent hardware development have included the release of the Steam Deck which has been praised for its affordable price point and user-friendly experience. So by applying what it has learned from the success of the Steam Deck, I think the Evolve could potentially create a follow-up to the Evolve Index that finds a major success. So it's good to know that Evolve remains committed to the VR and could potentially make a good product. So let's wait for more information. I mean 2019, we are in 2023, they, they're probably gonna show something really really soon so let's just wait. Xbox Game Pass New Games for April 2023 So guys, Xbox Game Pass has added a new day one first party title yesterday and of course I'm talking about Minecraft Legends. So this is the second first party title to be added this month following Ghostwire Tokyo and will be followed by Redfall on May 2. So guys, getting day one first party titles on a service is a big deal for fans and for Microsoft so getting three within a month is a stellar for the service. So the new titles added to the current lineup included the Xbox One version of me Medieval Dynasty on April 20, as well as Blast Blue Cross Tagged Battle Special Edition on April 27. Aside from these, Coffee Talk Episode 2, Homestead Arcana, Cassette Beast, and The Last Case of Benedict the Fox are day one titles that will also be added this month. So the Xbox Game Pass new games for April 2023 list is actually shaping up to be an interesting lineup. But for fans who have not connected with any of these games, Xbox has already announced and confirmed six games for May 2023, including Redfall, Raven Lock, Fuga Melodies of Steel 2, Amnesia, The Bunker, Railway Empire 2, and Far War Pioneers. So guys, this is all for me for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and of course, a huge hug, love, and peace.